Hello! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a shepherd's cube. Okay, a shepherd's cube um, is just a Rubik's cube that uses arrows in facing specific directions as its solved state instead of using colors. Um, if you want a shepherd's cube and you want to purchase one, you can go to cubesmith.com and purchase the stickers and just apply those stickers to any regular Rubik's Cube. <clears throat> First couple things you need to know about the Shepherd's Cube is if you have a Shepherd's Cube and you're stickering it or you have already stickered it you need to make sure that it's in the um, standard Shepherd's Notation. Um, the standard Shepherd's Notation is that the front face points upward, the left face points towards you, and the top face points to the left. And then all the other faces, the opposite faces, point the opposite direction. So you see this one's pointing up, and that one's pointing down. This one points that direction, that one points the opposite. And then that one also points the opposite direction. Okay? <clears throat> so you can think of these three as kind of like the blue mustard blood that you have from the uh, the 3x3, three three. you know, you always sticker it with the blue mustard blood. You can think of this one, the front up, top left, and left towards you. Use that as your base for stickering this puzzle. Um, if you do that correctly, you should have one corner here. Now let me show you what's special about this corner. What's special about this corner is that no matter how you flip the corner, it's always in the solved position. No matter how you flip it, it's always the same. So in this case, we're gonna call this little cubey right here, this corner, a samey cube, okay? Because it's the same. Now, not all the cubes are like that. Here, I'll just show you an example. This cube is solved right now. If I give it a flip, it's no longer solved, as you can see. So there's only two cubes, little cubey corners that have that. So it's important to know which one it is. And it looks like this. Um, they're pretty distinguishable from the rest of them. You just need to make sure you understand what, what piece is which. Okay, so now that we've gone over a few of the basic things, let's go ahead and start solving this thing. So let's scramble it up. Okay, I think, I think that's good for scrambling. Um, now, the first thing you need to know just learn how to start is how to orient the center pieces. The center is right here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start by finding your samey. Okay, the samey corner. Um, if, you, if, you, if you know the orientation, then you can start out by doing this. Putting the left one facing you, the front one up, and the top to the left. But if you don't know that, Look for your samey corner, which is right here. This is your samey corner. That's one of them anyway. There's two on the cube. So that's not the one. I mean, we could use that one if we want to, but for the purpose of example, here, here's this one. This is the one that we want. See, it's pointing upwards. The left is pointing towards us, and that one's pointing to the left, the top. It's pointing to the left. Okay, so we're going to use that as our base. So let's make sure this one is facing up this one is pointing to the left and this one is facing towards us okay so now we have our centers corresponding to the semi cube now we got lucky when we have an edge piece right here so we're gonna pick one of these from this point um, to solve now what you'll notice is since we already have this one oriented we can go ahead and do the opposite for here as you can see that and that are opposites. You can do the same for this one. Flip it over. That's how that one needs to be. And then this one, just make sure it's pointing that way. So we got all the centers oriented. There's um, three three ways the arrows can be facing. Um, generally, there's the arrow can be um, moving along the center, kind of like this one. It moves in the same direction as the centerpiece. There's one that could be pointing directly towards the center, 
you know, it doesn't matter what way it's pointing or what way the face is turned, it's always pointing directly at the center. And then there's one that points away from the center, like this one. See, it points away from the center. So ones that go along the center, ones that go to the center, and one that goes away from the center. Okay, so now that we know <clears throat> what the three types of uh, edge, the way that the stickers can be pointing, the three types of edges, um, let's go ahead and try to solve our cross. Okay, so here's our cross. We got one that's lucky here. As you can see, we needed one that pointed away from the center and the one that rode along that edge or that center piece. Let's solve this one next. We need one that points away from the center and that corresponds to that piece. So let's look one for one that looks away. See, we wouldn't even bother wasting our time with this one because it points at the center. We don't need that. We want the one that points away from the center. So maybe like this one might be a good candidate. But I can already tell that's not the right one. So let's try using a different one. Dot points to... Okay, this one points away. Let's try this one. All this is trial and error. Okay. Let's see if this is the right piece. And it is. We got lucky. That piece is pointing away. So it's one that pointed away from the center. And it corresponds. It just happened to go the same direction. So now let's go get an opposite one. We already got that one. That was lucky. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the last one here. It needs to be pointing that direction. So Okay, so here's the point. We need one that's pointing to the center. Like this one. So let's try this one. Okay. This is actually correct. Let me flip this around real quick so that it looks... Right now it doesn't look like it's correct, but let me adjust it. I messed up one of these, so let me fix that real quick. Okay, so there we go. As you, so we got the f up that way, that way. Um, okay, so we work on this piece. It's pointing to the center. And that arrow corresponds to there, which is the opposite of that. And this one, we have one that goes along the center and also points to the, to the center on this side. And it corresponds. So now we have a cross. So the next thing to do is start doing the first two layers. Now a lot of this is going to be trial and error also. But as you can see, I already have one that started out right here. So I'm going to look for its corresponding piece. Okay, so I need one that points to the center. So this one's no good because we can see it points away from the center. So that one, that one's no good. Let's try this one. Nope, that was not going to be correct. See, it's not pointing in the right direction. It's pointing downwards. And you know, you can turn the... If you can't see that, you can turn it a little bit just so that you can um, visualize it as long as you make sure you turn it back. Okay, so let's try this one. That one points towards the center. Let's try this one. Okay, so this one is correct. See, it, it points upwards. So now when we do our F2L... do our F2L I know I did that fast but you should know how to do F2L um, it's pointing the right direction see it's pointing to the center and that one is going the same direction let's do another one okay so what I would recommend is after you get your first two layers um, one of the slots is move on to the corner and do a corner slot corner slot don't do corner 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 you can if you want to but I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. 